What started as a fun Christmas story idea, Santa losing his sleigh key, turned into a full animated adventure. Let me show you how I made it happen using AI, Canva, and a little holiday creativity, and how you can do it too. All right, so I'm going straight to ChatGPT where I asked it to give me some ideas for a holiday videos for kids in about three minutes or less. So it gave me these ideas and it gave me some more instructions and I chose this one. And then it gave me some more tips and I wrote the script out scene by scene and it turned out pretty good. Overall, I liked it, but there were a few things I wanted it to change. So once it was finished, I asked it to give me more information and eventually I asked it, and this is a very good question to ask when you're writing something, is there anything that's missing that would make it even better? So this is a really good suggestion you might want to use in the future when you're making ChatGPT. This will make it come back with even more ideas that you probably might not even think about to make your story even better. So yes, it did that for me and it gave me some additional things to add. And once it was done, I was like, yeah, add those. And then we took it from there. So once I was finished with the basic story setup, I also asked it to give me image prompts for each scene and more. Then once I had everything ready to go, it's time to go on to the next step. So let's do that now. Okay, now I'm going to record my voices. I could use 11 labs if I wanted to, but for this lesson, I'm going to use this AI tool. Go to Google and search for Google AI Studio. It does change a lot, so don't be surprised if it doesn't look like this when you get here because they're making new products all the time. You want to look for native speech. Okay, so click on that and you'll see something that looks like this. Here, you can choose single or multi-speaker, then click here. If you wanna listen to any voices, you just click on the triangle and you'll hear what they sound like. Then to choose one, you just click on the name and make sure it shows up like this. Then you put your text over here and hit go when ready. For this story, however, I'm going to choose multi-speaker. I've got two voices this time, so I've given each a name so I can tell them apart. And then I came down here and chose a different voice for each one. So that's how you do that. So then you'll need to put your information in here. So it starts up here and you'll have speaker one, which is this one and you put your text in like that. Then you'll have speaker two, and you put your text right here. And then you just keep on going. And every time you want to add a new voice, you would click add dialogue and it'll add a new person. So then you would just put in the information in here, click add dialogue and add the next person, etc. So right over here, you can see the whole thing. And over here, you can see it piece by piece. So basically, I recorded two voices this time, and I'll do this over and over until I get my full narration finished. Once you're done, you'll see a little button right here that says run. Click on that. Then once it's done, you'll see something that looks kind of like this. This is your actual recording. You can click right here to listen to it, or you can click right here to download it. And then if you need to record some more, you just come up here, erase all this, and then just choose a new voice here for each of your new characters that you need, put all your information in, hit run, and just keep on going until you finish. And that's how you record your voices here. All right, so once you've got all the voices recorded, the next thing we'll wanna do is go on to making the images. All right, so now I'm gonna work on making my images. I'll be doing it here inside Canva. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come over here to Canva and AI and click on that. Then I will click on image and it'll bring me here. You can see some that I've already created. So I need images for a Christmas video I'm working on. So basically what you would do is put your prompt up here, then you choose your style. You have all these to choose from. Okay, so choose your style and your aspect ratio. I'll keep 16 by nine and then put your prompt right inside here. As an example, I'm gonna use one of these I've already made. So I'll come down here and click on reuse this prompt right here. Now you can see the entire prompt. Remember, you to choose your style and size, then click here to submit, then it'll make four images. If you wanna look at any of them, you can click on it and you can see the image here. If you wanna make a change, you can add something here to make a change. Notice it suggests you do it one at a time for better results if you're making changes. For now, I won't do that. You can also boost your resolution by clicking here. All these that you see here by themselves, those are ones that I did boost the resolution on. So those were ones that I upscaled in other words. It's nice to be able to do that inside Canva. All right, so here are the images I made. Once you find some you like, you just choose one, click on boost, and then it'll upscale it for you. Then once you've done all that and you've got all your images made, then the next thing you need to do is start actually animating these. So let's go there next. 
All right, so now it's time for me to animate all these images I just made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this site called Designy, and I'm gonna do all my animations in here. Now, if you've never used it before, this site has all sorts of things you can do in here. It's basically an all-in-one AI site. So it makes images, consistent characters, image to video, face swap, etc. You can also start for free if you wanna try it for yourself. I will show you pricing real quick, and you can see there's even a free plan that you can use. The biggest thing though is that the free Free plan doesn't offer commercial use, so I do want to point that out. But if you want to come here and learn this system and play with it, this is a good way to start. Then if you decide you like it, you can always upgrade. The first thing you need to do is click here to log in. Now that I'm logged in, you can see I've already been working on some things. So I'll show you how I got to this page right here. Basically, when you first come in here, it's going to look like this. The image to video is one that I use a lot, so I'll click on this. Now it's gonna open up this space here. First thing you'll wanna do is click right up here, there we go, and choose your size, then click apply. I'll shrink it down some so I can see this better. First I'll get rid of that. And then you'll drag in your picture here. There we go. Now you can see the whole thing. And I'm gonna choose lip sync for this one image. So I'll come right over here to lip sync, click on that. You're not gonna believe how easy this is. So click on that, then choose a face. I'll click on this to use the picture I just uploaded. Click right there, then click next. Choose the aspect ratio, click next. And now it's showing you the image. So now we've got to add a voice to it. So I'll go grab my voice. All right, so I'll click right here and you can either put your text in here and then choose one of these many voices here to actually speak the message. If you want to listen to them, just click here to preview the voices or you could choose upload right here, which is what I'm going to do. And I'll drag in my voice right there and now you see it. Always make sure that you listen to it to make sure that everything's correct. Now I'm going to cut off some of this extra at the beginning and end. Then push this over. And then when you're happy with it, then click generate. Here's how many credits this costs. This is really low, so making lip syncs here is very cheap. So I'll click here to generate. Now it's been submitted and you'll see it right over here in the queue. Here are some videos I've already made. So for example, you can see Santa is frantically kind of looking around the workshop. Here is one of reindeer standing out in the snow. This one is actually a lip sync. Let's watch. So let's make one while we're waiting. So what I'll do is come over here to AI video and click on it. Now there's many different models you can work with. Look around and choose your favorite. Right now, I'm going to try this one. And I'll choose my start frame, click here, delete that. I'll shrink it down and drag this in here like that. And I'll leave it on five seconds, then click generate. And that's how you animate your images in design. So you just come do the same thing over and over for all your video images. And then once you're finished animating your images, you're ready to go on to the next step, which is actually putting everything on together and making your final video. So let's do that next. All right, so now it's time to put all these pieces together. Since this video is running so long, I'm actually just gonna show you how I made this. I've already got it finished, but as you can see here on this Canva page, I've got all my different videos, voices, and more, but I'll show you how I made this. This is the music, these are voices, and let me explain how all of this works. Some of these are sound effects. You can see how it's layered. My narration, I split it up into pieces so I could make it match up with the correct images or videos, and then I move them around to make it fit. I'll share the complete video in a few minutes, but I did want to show you a few things I did. For example, this is an image that I animated. You can see I added a rise to it, so it's actually moving. Not every page in here has a video on it, but most do. I also added the snow to quite a few pages. I found this in Elements, I searched for snow, and then I went to Graphics, and I moved over here to Animated. I clicked on Animated, and there it is. I also changed the transparency of it so you can go lighter or darker. This is an image that I animated too. So this whole story, it's a mixture of images and videos. This one is a lip sync. This one is actually a mixture of several things. So these are the layers. So I've got an image. This is a video that I lowered the transparency on so there'd be some movement in the water. 
Then I made this stick with the little flame on it using elements out of here. And then I just kind of put it all together to make an image or make a little video. So now you can see the movement of the water. So that's how I did that. I did kind of a similar thing here. So that also has water. So it's similar to that. But if we click on this, you'll see there's the water. I added an ending page. So I put a colorful gradient here, the snow. And then I put this little graphic here that I also found in elements to end the video. And that's how I did it. So once I've got all those pieces, the biggest thing is to put them in order and then make sure you've got your voices and your images all working together. And then add any other individual sound effects you need to, to make it even better. And when you're finished, download it. So now let's watch it and you can see how the whole thing fits all together. It was Christmas Eve morning at the North Pole, and everything was ready. Gifts wrapped, reindeer brushed, sleigh polished to shine, until Santa reached for his magic sleigh key. Ho, 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 wait, where's the key? Without that key, his sleigh wouldn't lift a single inch. You mean we can't take off? <laughs> Not until we find that key, my little helpers. The elves searched high and low, under wrapping paper, behind toys, even inside the cookie jar. Check near the sleigh, dear. You were polishing it this morning. Outside, the reindeer were stretching before flight. I smell cookies and maybe magic? Look! Something's shining out there in the pond! The lead reindeer sniffed the air and pricked up his ears. They hurried to the edge of the pond, and there it was, the magic sleigh key, sparkling beneath the ice. Well, I'll be snowed. How do we get it out? Santa grabbed a piece of firewood, then held it close to the frozen key. It glowed brighter and warmer until crack! The ice melted just enough to free the key. Santa lifted the key from the ice and it shimmered like starlight. The reindeer cheered and stamped their hooves. Thank you, my friends. You've helped me save Christmas. As he returned the key to the sleigh, golden light swirled all around them. The magic was back. That night, Santa and his team soared into the sky. The aurora shimmered brighter than ever, lighting their path across the stars. Ho, ho, ho! Time to spread the Christmas cheer! Christmas is saved! And high above the world, the golden key glowed from the sleigh, a reminder of teamwork, laughter, and a little Christmas magic. Sometimes, even when we lose something important, we find something even better. Friends who'll help us every step of the way. Now that's what I call true Christmas magic. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.